So here's a map I've been wanting to play. And I really hope I won't crash because the loading was kind of weird. It was acting a little weird here. Okay, so yep. I don't think this map needs any introduction. It's a new map by Voidrunner. So far this looks really interesting. I think he's using the blueberry filter effect again. He uses this filter effect so many times. It's like his signature. Alright, kind of interesting look going on here. I guess he's trying to get really experimental this time. Because, I don't know. Like, you know, when I first played the first map, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Quake. But this, I don't know. It kind of feels like Bioshock or something. It's like Bioshock meets Quake and maybe a little bit of System Shock or something. But whatever, it does look kind of cool. Alright, oh yeah, let me tell you like a funny story here. So when I first played um, Outcast M2, it was just hilarious because I thought like I only had the, I think it was like the shotgun, the regular shotgun with like the grenade launcher and the chain gun. And the moment where um, Void Runner threw in all those pinkies, I'm like, where the hell are the rockets, man? And what is it? Once I got into like the second arena, I was starting to get kind of like, you know, pissed off at the map because I'm like, dude, where's the rocket launcher, man? Because these fights are like designed for the rockets. And when I died, I decided to like hold my weapon wheel and I'm like, oh, there's the rockets. It was just so dumb, dude. That was one of like the most derpiest moments I ever had in Snap Map. So yeah, thank you. I learned that from my mistake and I'm not going to have any derp moments um, right here. Alright, um, wait. So I got the chainsaw. Where, where do I go now? Oh. <coughs> so, you know, I did kind of watch a little bit of this. Um, what is it? I did saw some like YouTube videos of it a little bit because this map came at, came at like the wrong time, man. It came when I was still trying to work on my Redemptor map 5. And when it came out, I'm like, dude, I want to play that map so badly. But at the same time, I want to finish, you know, Redemptor map 5, so... I kind of, um, crap, that sucks. I kind of like, you know, um, what is it? Saw a little bit just to kind of like, um, slow down my excitement. But I only saw like snippets of it. So I, this is still pretty much a blind playthrough. I kind of like this little house here. Or a cathedral, I guess. I don't know. Pretty cool. So now this definitely looks a lot like Quake. This is what I kind of like expect from Quake here. So yeah, even though I did kind of watch a little bit of the video, this is still pretty much a blind play for me. Just look at it, what is it? It's similar to like Unre Unrelenting Evil from um, Doom Guy. You know, I saw like little snippets of it. Oh, there's no items. I thought there was items. Oh, he still uses the hit markers. I used to use that, but then I kind of stopped using the hit markers. Just kind of got... I mean, you know, it's kind of more of a preference, but I don't really like it. Oh, so we don't have this. I really like my gun camo on this gun here. It just looks so sick. That's like another thing um, I kind of like about, you know, playing Snap Map versus like the campaign. The gun camos, because I love gun camos. And, you know, I understand, like, there shouldn't be any gun camels for, um, camping. It just wouldn't make any sense here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, that was the worst strafe ever. I'm terrible. Alright. I don't really know what to expect from this map. I do expect it to be good, because, you know, most of Void Runner's maps are good. My least favorite Void Runner map was probably Grand Cathedral. The last time I played it, like back in like the early days of free update 2, I thought it was okay. I haven't played the updated one, but you know, maybe I will in the future. But I thought it was okay. You know, his worst map is like still better than my worst map. Like my worst map, I cringe when I play like the early maps from mine because they they have not aged that well. But, but I'm sure, but I'm sure like what is it? His um older map still holds up really well. Like, I played Solomon's Temple, like the updated one. It still plays pretty good, too. Oh, crap. I definitely have a lot of respect for, like, authors that made maps, like, back in the free update 2 or pre-patch days, and they still, like, hold up really well. Like, I got a lot of respect for those guys. 
Because I've made so many maps from the pre-patch days, and they, they just don't hold up that well. And it, uh, it, part of me kind of, like, you know, hates that, because I, you know, at that time, like, I still, like, put a lot of love into it. But yeah, you know, I've just gotten so much better at, at mapping. And, you know, when I go back to those maps, it's like, what the hell? And I do want to say that Void Runner did kind of show me a little bit of, like, the early development of this map, because I remember seeing stuff like this, but I could tell it's definitely evolved um, much better. I mean, much, I mean, into something that I didn't expect. So we're going to enter this little house here, which is pretty cool. Oh, I like this. Oh, light the way. Oh, huh. So, we got some verticality. Wait, dude, I, I think I forgot to grab some stuff here. Hold up. Because I realized my health and armor is kind of low. I'm sure, like, I forgot some stuff here. Yeah, see? This is kind of like the problem with live combing, you know? You kind of, like, don't play as well. You get distracted with stuff. Like, I'm always trying to, like, think of certain subjects to talk. I don't always want to like you know just completely focus on like the map here. All right, this is pretty cool. Okay, wait, I have a chain. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, I have a chainsaw. Okay, I thought I didn't have it. I don't really think the chainsaw is gonna be that useful though. You know, like Void, he really likes to throw in lots of like hordes of enemies, and you know when you're using the chainsaw, it's just terrible. Oh look at that stupid cackle demon. <laughs> I swear, dude, like, what happened to the Cackle Beans, man? Like, I really love them. They're actually one of my favorite enemies um, to use in Snap Map. But not only that, like, in Doom in general, they're one of my favorite enemies. Let's just look how- oh, wow, this guy is- oh, yeah, I almost forgot, um... Oh, come on, really, dude? Void Runner likes to, like, up, um, up the health on, like, the Mancubus. I guess I'll just try to be a little bit more aggressive here. I don't know, they're probably glory kill only here. I'll just kill them with this. Alright. Stupid cackle demon. So far this looks pretty awesome. Really like the windows here. <laughs> I swear, I've been seeing like a lot of mappers kinda like taking advantage of this little fire thing. I think it looks cool, but it's kinda not really like my style for some reason. Alright, so we got some soldiers here. So yeah, this is definitely like, you know, a lot of like textbook um, design when it comes to kind of like putting enemies on top of like player blocking volumes. You really want to use the ranged units. Oh. Oh, so we're in, we're still in kind of like this little space area. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, wow, this kind of reminds me of Pig Dog. This really reminds me of like Pig Dog lights right there and I'm I'm aware that like Void Runner has a huge beef with Big Dog you know I just think it's kind of silly Ugh. but whatever you know I'm not gonna like judge people of what they are doing You know, I just want to, like, play their maps and just have fun with it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. These guys have 158% health. So, pretty good flow right here. Seems like he wants to kind of kick back the action a little bit, which I like. I like that. Oh. Wow, dude, that was the most luckiest shot ever. I didn't mean to do that. Oh god. Oh my god. I kinda hate 150% health Cyber Mancubus. But, you know, it's his design choice. Just die, please, dude. Oh wow, this is really cool. The cross is... Oh, <laughs> a little Quake 1 reference. The cross is like always a big, um, what is it? It's just kind of like one of those things a lot of um, mappers, whether it's Doom or Quake mappers, like to use a lot. And you know, I'm kind of like one of those guys that never really 
used it used them that much for some reason. Wow, this is really cool. I really like how they're how we're kind of like entering this little cathedral or house or whatever. It's really cool. It kind of reminds me of what is it? I think there was like a level in Memento Mori. I don't really remember which map it is, but it kind of reminds me of one of those levels. And it was a pretty like awesome level in terms of like the visual design and stuff. But I thought the gameplay was kind of okay. But let's see how this map goes here. So far, I am enjoying it. I don't know if I could say this is my favorite Void Runner map. You know, I still think like was it Gothica or Tech Base M3? Like that's him at his peak. Like that's like my absolute favorite ones for sure. And I do enjoy his tech based maps too. But I think like, you know, those two maps are kind of like the ones that I really think about when I think about like his best maps. <laughs> Alright. Where the heck do I go now? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of low on ammo. Oh wow. Here's like another thing I kind of realize a lot of people are doing. Well, not a lot, but I definitely recognize this area from, um, oh my god, I forgot. The Monastery? Yeah, another map by Void Runner. Even like Watsta kind of like did it too. Kind of like, kind of like use these, um, these columns in like a little catacomb type of vibe, I guess. Really cool, I love the lighting. I don't know, this reminds me so much of Solomon's Temple. I could tell he's kind of like reusing some of his ideas here, but trying to like expand upon them. And to be honest, like, you know, I remember, um, me and Void Runner, we were kind of like having a conversation of like our map design and stuff. And one of the things that he always told me is that he never liked it to like reuse certain ideas from previous maps. And I definitely am kind of like on board with that. But as time progressed and the more maps I make, I'm starting to like feel like it's so much harder to like do that. Because you know, with the grid module, there's so much, you know, there's not really as much you can do compared to like using like a real map editor and stuff. So as long like, you know, you kind of like change some things up here because because I definitely like how he kind of like, I think there's probably decals on here, but it definitely um, feels very different than what like the monastery did. So as far as like atmosphere and all that stuff. And you know, that's kind of like the same thing with what I've been doing with some of my secluded maps. I've been kind of like reusing some of the ideas I've done, but just try to like expand upon it or try to like throw in some stuff to kind of like make it feel a little different. So it's not like lazy, like I'm just lazily recycling certain ideas. Oh, I thought this would be a lockdown. 